puck, we move on to F3. Okay, F3, we want him in a good spot at all times. For our rule for this, uh, as you'll see in a little bit as we talk about how our defensemen get involved in this five-man puck recovery, is we want our F3, there's position to be above the puck and inside the dot. Yeah, I don't want him outside the dot. I want him in a good spot, and that's for good offensive and defensively reasons. Defensively, he's in a better spot on the inside of the ice to recover, uh, but it also allows our defensemen to take the walls away a little bit. But offensively, he's in a good spot because he's in a great A scoring chance right away. Um, so when we do this, I want what I mean by that, if we have the puck here with our F1, okay, if our other forwards down below the goal line, I want our F3 above this puck somewhere. He doesn't have to be, a lot of coaches have him either top of the circles, um, or even a little bit higher. They have a standard as far as a hash mark area height-wise where he needs to be inside that zone. I don't really care. I'd, I'd rather actually want him tight um, to it a little bit, but he's just got to be above the puck and inside the dot. So he's got to be somewhere in this area here. And he can find his soft spot a little bit, and I want him to be a little bit active, a little bit of movement. Um, but I don't want him standing still, but I don't want him drifting back on his heels. Okay, I want him on his toes, ready to jump. Okay, so he's ready for a loose puck here. If this puck does go corner to corner, this guy's in a better spot to jump onto this loose puck, and I want him going on his toes. That's the other reason why we want him inside the dots. If he's outside the dots, now he's just given up 10 feet of ice to get to this loose puck. So I want him inside the dot above the puck, on his toes, ready to jump on these loose pucks when they go side to side. Now rotation on this, when it does go side to side, F3's on his toes, he's jumping that, either on the loose puck first or he's making that uh, defender make a play under pressure. One of these two guys, I don't care which ones, usually they're how they non-verbally communicate, one of these guys has got to follow and continue on. Again, the other one, we talk about climbing, he replaces F3. Climbing himself so he's inside the dot above the puck. Okay, and that's kind of a rotation that we go off of in the offensive zone. F1, F2, and F3, they kind of all replace each other in a little bit of a triangle hockey. But it's stop and start hockey, it's anticipate, be on your toes, be on loose pucks. That's our only rule in the offensive zone is F3 needs to be above the puck, inside the dot a little bit.